It's time to get your risk on. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching my video. My name is Digitalic, and as always, I'm a Grandmaster ranked online risk player. And for you today, we're back with Mr. Anonymous from the United Kingdom. We're going to play some more classic fixed six player game. Let's see how we do today. All right. Looks like everyone readied up. So we've got no starting bots, which is amazing. Okay, so the first thing we do is we look at the blizzards, and there's nothing crazy. Uh, the only thing crazy is that I have all my bloody material in Asia. Oh. <laughs> and we go second, so we get no bonus troops. And look at Pink's look at Pink's start in um, North America. Man, she rough. She rough. Oh, and purple took away my easy take. Oh, I was going to get a take in Alaska. So, oh, oh, I do have some material in Africa that I didn't. I didn't, uh, I didn't see right away. The question is, what's blue going to do? Blue gets extra troops. I'm assuming that black's going to go into Af is it black's going to go into Europe. I think we risk it. Let's put everything in Madagascar. All right, let's spend out this three in Australia. We win it. And let's pull these positions together. All right, see how that works out. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. If someone comes into Africa, I can try and make an alliance and see if they can let me out. And by the way, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to support the work that I do, you can really help me out by smashing that subscribe button. And you, if you have subscribed to my channel already, you can help me out by hitting that like button or leaving a comment on the video for me. Please and thank you. All right. Maybe purple and yellow fight over Australia? I don't know. But pink is definitely going to put in North America. I mean, like, come on, what else do you got? They're going to roll the yellows five? Or they sure are. Okay. Pink beginner. Uh, we also have to guess on purple, yellow, blue... And black today. Let's see how we do on our guesses. Okay, blue, you're going into Europe, right? Now does black now what I'm hoping for is I'm hoping that black fights you for Europe. Which it looks like they're going to. Oh, this is actually really good for me. So I can just I can I can stockpile troops in Africa. Well, black's not necessarily going into Europe, but it looks like they are. South America might be available, but I'm I think pink's gonna go for that as well. Um Yeah, so everything in Africa. Let's try spending this guy here in Australia for some value. Oh, we get it. Nice. That's great. And then we'll bring these positions together. All right, so settings for today's game are World Domination, Classic Map, Auto Setup, 60 Second Turn Timer, Expert, Automated Bots, Fixed Cards, Balance Splits, Dice, No Rank Restrictions, Alliances and Blizzards are on, but Fog and Portals are off today. In the first position, we've got the purple player, Austin Clink from the Cook Islands. In position two, you got myself, my ending goes account. We're currently ranked as a Grandmaster. In position three, we have the yellow player, General Prentice from France. In position four, we have the pink player, Levi Teets. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a built. I don't know. Is that not? I don't think that's one of the built-in names, but it's funny nonetheless. Nonetheless, and they're from the United States of America. In position five, we've got the blue player. That's uh, Casey. Lightning from K 
Canada, my home country. And in the sixth position, yeah, pink does take South America. In the sixth position, we've got Molly Fong playing as black from Australia. I like pink's positioning. I'm going to work on an alliance with them. Let's see. See if we can get an alliance with them, because that's kind of important. Okay. Then they give me the thumbs up. So it sounds like we're buds. Now, what's the blue player going to do? Looks like they are going to descend on Europe. One of these guys might give up on Europe and, and come and try and take me out of Africa. But... I mean, it's looking pretty damn clean, if you ask me. Or, they're just going to go into... Okay, blue might be giving up on Europe. Black, sorry. Black might be giving up on Europe. I mean, they could easily come in here and punt me, right? <clears throat> Please don't roll my six. Purple rolls at six, I'm in a lot of trouble. Okay, and so blue, I don't have to worry about... I can go into Siberia because I don't have to worry about... Blue's going gonna, gonna to try and go into Europe. So let's keep stacking in Africa. And we'll punch into Siberia. And we'll just do it, leave it like that. Oh, and I got a wild card, so I have a trade next turn. Fantastic. All right, so it's a really good time for us to do the viewer comment of the day. Today's viewer comment is uh, comes from SAS14285. Uh, so I don't know much about the inner workings of the game engine, but is there a fail-safe to prevent Blizzard from cutting the map completely off from each other? It would be exceedingly rare occurrence if possible, but maybe. It would be interesting how split board endgame would go. Uh, yeah, SAS, it's impossible to cut off the map from each other. The, the game is designed to prevent that, so you can't have an isolated area of the map. Because that would make it so it's possible that the game could never end. Because two people own two sides of the map and they can't access each other. Now it is possible with stable portals that you could have like a, a blizzard on Siam that cuts off Australia from the rest of the map. As long as there is a stable portal entrance uh, in Australia. So with stable portals you can get blizzards that appear to cut the map in two. But you can still get you can still access in between them through the portals. Uh, great question though. Thank you very much for the question. And guys, if you want your comment featured on my show, all you got to do is leave a funny or insightful comment on any of my videos, or just ask a question, and if I like it enough, I will feature it on my show. It's going to get an alliance with the blue player once their turn's finished. Why are they fortifying from there to there? I don't know about that. It's weird. Do they want to come back into Africa? I'm going to make an alliance with them, at least. <clears throat> I think Black's trying to think about... Black might be thinking about coming back into Africa. So we'll see if we'll see if that happens. But once I've traded and I've got a big stack in Africa, it probably will it probably will motivate them not to come in, even if they have a trade, because that's a you know once I get my trade in, I'm pretty big. And I'll have I'll have lots of material down there. So it'll probably work out for me. I think the purple player is a beginner. Oh yeah, and they're gonna crush. They're gonna crush yellow. That doesn't look like it. Oh no, they're going in. Okay, that's interesting. 
So we definitely trade. Because if black trades first and comes in, then, you know, we kind of lose that, hey, we want you out of here, you know. Because now I've got 28 troops in Africa, and I can even, I can even get takes in there. I'm not going to take it, though. It's not my style to take continents early. Unless, of course, it's just I can defend it. Like, if I get a god spawn and I can defend it. Okay, yellow trades on three. That's really good for the yellow player. They can take Australia now, no problem. And defend it. Pink trades on three too. Wow, so pink's gonna be quite big. They've got they've got their continent early. Oh, they look like they're gonna be they're gonna greed out for North America as well. And you know I like that. I like when players do that, because it makes them tough. Wow. That was a massive hit. And look, purple's sitting here with a with a twenty two stack pointed right at North America. And they are going to try and three-way guard it. Okay. <laughs> Can't wait to see some fireworks. Or maybe this is just a passive board and we just let pink turn into a monster and kill us all. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays. Blue did not accept my alliance request. I'm going to ask Black for an alliance request now. I actually think Blue is a beginner. Blue gets just gets a take and passes. I guess they're waiting for a trade before they do anything. Or they're maybe... What Blue should have done is they should have moved out of Yellow's way. And Black's going to remove the four from Africa, put it on the 16. Yeah, good. Awesome. Let's see if purple hits pink back. I don't want to take Africa with blue lined up on me right here. This is actually, this is scaring me a little. see if purple gets some revenge they don't they go into japan so purple's gonna be passive so it looks like we are gonna let pink uh hold the world that's interesting that's very interesting so i think i'm just gonna stack in africa i'm gonna i'm gonna spend my troops up here while I still have them. Just get some value out of them. And I just don't feel motivated to stop pink. Oh, two dudes. So the problem with if I if I attack pink hard here, he's a beginner. They're a beginner. I'm pretty sure they're gonna. Then they're just gonna spend the rest of their game focusing on me, right? So we've given them the world. And let's see, let's see if that levy breaks and someone attacks them. It would not shock me. Where? Yeah, yeah. Do it, bro. Okay, and pinks seem they like, asked if they can attack one of my one stacks, which is unusual in the game, but welcomed. <laughs> when they split twos, oh, that's weird. Why would they do that?
Now, if you're going to let anyone get bit oversized in the game, I always like it le letting beginners get oversized. Okay, Blue's not doing anything. Let's hope they're not botting out. We, we, need, blue, we need Blue in this game. Okay, they set. What was that? Why didn't... Is this game bugging, or is Blue lagging out? Blue might be lagging out or something. Or the game might be getting laggy. I don't really know what's going on here. But that was odd. Okay, so... They did get a take. Black moves into Africa... Moves north into Asia. I'm really glad I have an alliance with the pink player. <clears throat> See what purple does. It looks like they're here. Which is not sure what to do. But I think it's pretty easy what to do here. S suicide into pink or take a card and pass. They didn't do anything. Purple didn't even take a card. That's really odd. Okay, so we're going to continue to stack in Africa. I'm going to just punch down into China. And make an alliance with the yellow player. Maybe they won't hit that. Okay, we get a wild card, but we don't want to use it because it's a dude trade wild card. We definitely don't want to waste it. Yeah. Okay, I think yellow is an intermediate player. I think black's an expert intermediate. Very, very interesting game. I have a weird feeling blue might be botting out. It seems like they're having connection issues because their 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 turn last turn was like super laggy, right? There's something going down. <laughs> Just checking something on my phone. Yeah, I was right. Blue is botting out. Sort of, yeah. No, they got to take. Okay, what are they doing? Really, really odd stuff. And Black's playing really passively as well. I'm playing passively as well. Meanwhile, Pink is just getting absolutely, absolutely massive. <clears throat> I'm hoping that Blue does take Europe. And then we can... At least keep up to pink, not keep up to them, but at least uh, unbreak the balance of the board, right? Because right now it is broken. If if neither blue nor I take a continent, 
uh, then then Pink will actually grow strong enough at some point to just win the game. Okay, so we're not taking our trade. Stack in South Africa. Let's get a take with this guy. I think we can just leave that there and end our turn. Okay, so we have a big trade next turn, which is good. So I will attempt to take Africa next turn, probably guard it in East Africa. And then I'll signal to Pink, like give him a heart. <clears throat> yeah, well, Yellow's going to spend this unsuccessfully, so they'll, ha they'll have to hit Siam now. Or Middle East. Yeah, okay, so Yellow's just waiting as long as they can before they can they hit the Middle East. Sorry, before they hit Siam. And once again, Pink putting in 11. They're just... They're just a monster. Tell them to attack my territory if they need to. They are spending a lot of time in draft, but they responded to my my message right away. So they're just thinking? I mean, they've been just given... This, this is just a, a gift for them. Imagine if they don't do anything. Imagine if Pink bots out and we got a whole new game. That'll be something else. Okay, blue takes Europe now. Good. I really wish they'd responded to my request. Pink didn't do any. Look, the bot, the the AI put placed Pink's troops for them. Pink didn't do anything. Oh, that's weird. <clears throat> Well, I mean, we t we set in, we take Africa. Purple trying to remove my positions. Uh, Egypt or Alaska? We want to keep Egypt. Now, if pink turns into a bot, we'll we will very quickly lose this position. And I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna, I get a heart back from them. <clears throat> now, if blue breaks me, that's stupid, right? Because why would you break? A guy with a plus three while well, we're allowing a player to hold a, a plus seven. Right? I'm getting huge. Pink did not get a card last turn. Which is very odd. The behavior is very odd, but they're here. They're responding to my my alliance messages. Oh, they might be broken. They might have the reinforcement bug. They might have to bot out. The biggest player in the game might have the bug. That would be crazy.
That's crazy. Maybe they disconnected and now they've got the reinforcement bug. Blue matches pink up there, but if pink, if pink quits, black doesn't break me. They will be holding five cards, though. Uh, it's not worth killing them. Purple sets gets the ten. They showed some. They're going to take me out of Kamchatka, that's for sure. No, they're they're zero carding. Weird. I mean, I want to go sit here just to, for when Pink does bot out, but I think I'm just going to take a. I don't. I don't want to threaten Blue. I don't want Blue to feel threatened by my stack there. But if Pink does bot out, this, this 18 will definitely attack into Africa. Okay, let's see if pink still is still stack locked. That's crazy. I've never seen this. Oh boy, this will be interesting. Pink has the has the reinforcement bug, so sometimes when you disconnect from the game, uh, and you reconnect, you can reconnect just fine. You can send messages, you can respond to messages, but you cannot place troops, so you can't actually play the game. So eventually, you'll just quit. You'll have to quit and let the AI take over for you. Why did it just say blues troops, but it's black? Oh, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Um, <clears throat> I don't really want to roll a six on a three for a card. I'm surprised that blue hasn't re accepted my alliance request. This is a very strange game. One problem I have is that this this stack's getting so big that I almost don't want to fortify against it. Uh, yeah, I don't want to roll. I mean, I could roll a six v two. I guess it's a seven v three. I don't really want to roll it though. I don't. Wanna, I don't want to piss off the blue player. That's fine, we'll just pass, not a big deal. Levi Teets is having connection problems, that's for sure. Now, one thing that Blue's gonna have a bad time when Pink does eventually bot out, it will it the bot will roll this 13. Give yellow a heart for that.
This is so weird. <clears throat> yeah, pink is completely bugged out. <clears throat> I mean, maybe they're faking it, right? Who knows? This is crazy. But they're they, it's get the bot's getting so big, the future bot, right? It's getting so big. Well, so is blue. So we'll, we are allied with pink, so we will know when they quit because it'll tell us that the ally, alliance is broken. One of the benefits of having an alliance with someone is if they bought out, you actually get you actually get a signal from the game that they've bought it out. Whereas normally, when a human player bots out, you have to figure it out yourself. Okay, is black botting out too? Oh no. <laughs> Now, one thing's for certain: if we do get into a massive bot game, yellow has the advantage. If if the if black bots out, if the pink player bots out, um, yellow holding having a single point hold, it will definitely be in an advantage here. Oh boy, the black player did bot out. Oh my god, that's crazy. Pink's still here. So I guess we sit in the Middle East now to keep the black bot out of out of our shit. I think we have to. This does card block blue. Well, sort of. They can hit. They can hit the black too. They can also break me if they want to. No, because yellow's going to take a card here. Set on four, negative. Oh, big pink is 112 troops and they can't even play the game. This is wild. This is absolutely wild. Yeah, and Blue's upset because they don't like waiting. So Molly Fong's gone. We've got two bots. We've got one bot. We've got one player who can't play, who's absolutely, absolutely massive. And look, it's like they even got the land, the, the landmines all over their continent. Like, this is going to be crazy. When this bot, when Pink gets unleashed on the game, it's going to be absolutely mayhem. Because they will give up eventually. It looks like they have. <clears throat> looks like they've quit. I don't really want to go put my stack here. Because now i got to worry about Blackbot coming in too. Let's see if Blue Blue splits here and puts some, put some material in Iceland. I have Blue as a beginner. Oh, hey, Sean Hyatt just subscribed to the channel while I'm recording this video. Well, thanks, Sean. Thank you for the subscription. Much appreciated. Oh, <laughs> Blackbot puts it all in Yellow's face. <clears throat> That's insane.
I mean, I guess I protect Africa as long as I can. And look, purple just sitting, sitting in the corner taking cards. Yeah. Uh. So what do I do? I don't want to get rolled by pink. I didn't have a set. I think 50... Let's try this. I don't love this. Because I still got to worry about black botting this, but I think black bot will hit around here first. Okay. So yellow's gonna try and release the bot from them. And create an external position. Okay. Now, the pink bot's gonna place a lot of troops right here. This is only gonna work for one turn, I think. Then I might have to vacate the, the plan. Put a bunch here. They're going to put some here. Six there. Three here. Okay. They're going to attack out with the 18. I'll have a trade next turn, too. So let's hope. Hopefully, the bot, black bot doesn't find its way to hitting the Middle East. <clears throat> I'll only be able to hold Africa for, for 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 so long. At some point, this pink bot's going to get so overwhelmingly big that I'm going to have to go back to a single stack, right? I'm just really hoping this this black bot doesn't doesn't crush me. And they're definitely a bot, so it's a two bot situation here. Okay, let's hope this seventeen attacks away from me, not toward me. Oh boy. Okay, that's good. It's going for Asia. It still might attempt to hit me with a 17. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. That works. <clears throat> Purple just saying, screw this bullshit. Okay, big trade. Plus two in Middle East or Egypt? Probably Middle East, right? We can save that card. Bot, black bot doesn't have a trade, so I'm okay for now. But yeah, it's only a matter of time until I'm going to have to desert this plan. Because I will, I will get overwhelmed by the bot. Okay, we get another wild card, which is good. So we have another big trade if we need it. I could also unleash the pink bot, right? <clears throat> oh, shit. But, like, until someone actually breaks this bot... It's, 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 this is just going to be insane. Okay, only puts four in front of me. So it's not going to roll blue yet. Okay, it's going to roll some black bot. Black bot's so weak that... It... Okay, it's, the bot seems to be prioritizing... The blue player, which is good for me. <clears throat> so I'm going to bump blue up to intermediate. 
Oh, Blue's giving up. Blue's giving up. That's interesting. <clears throat> That's really, really interesting. Yeah, I think Blue's an intermediate, not a beginner. Maybe even an expert. Because they definitely understand bots. I don't think I need to trade. I don't think the pink bot will make it to the, tw the 22. Ugh, I don't like this. Pinkbot doesn't have a trade, though. I think we can just do it for one more round. And then we evacuate the plan. All right, we might have to silence this player. <clears throat> okay, it's not going to make it to my 23, but I definitely definitely do not want to be beside this bot anymore. Wow. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Pink's gonna, yellow's gonna kill the black bot. Okay, we can get them to attack blue as well. Oh, 
Oh my god. Really? Really? So I'm killing blue for sure. Yeah, I'm killing blue for sure. Oh my god, this is crazy. Pink's gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna lose, obviously lose Africa. What a wild, wild game. Come on, Pinkbot, don't go too crazy. This is a rampage bot, too. <clears throat> okay, so blue wisely. Yeah, I think I just killed both of my human opponents here. Ooh, I might not have enough to do it. Shit. Yeah, I do. Okay. That double trades us, and now we fight a giant bot. Oh boy, this is going to be this is going to be the bot battle from hell. Cuz this bot's got stacks. We are going to see a crazy bot battle. Okay, it's taking Africa first. It's going to take South America too, please. Leave me with continents, please. Leave me with a lot of territory. It's a, this is the problem is this is a very aggressive bot. It might be tough to beat. Okay, good. It doesn't take Europe. That's really good. And I do have a trade, but you know what? I don't really want to use it. I want to save that trade. I actually might be okay here. As he, from previous videos, you've seen that I've beaten big bots before. Uh, Blue fed me that. Thank you, Blue. Okay, so it takes Europe and South America. Stops there. Amazing. Okay, so it's... 
Well, it's got a really good guard on. It's got a really really good guard on 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 Europe, which is too bad. Do I need to trade? I think I do. Plus two in China or Siberia. Let's take the China one. We'll save Siberia for later. I don't oh, know. We have to use Siberia. We have to use both. Okay, whatever. Let's just go. That should work. Okay, it trades and only gets the six. That's fantastic. <clears throat> so I'm setless now. I don't think this bot's going to get into position to overwhelming. I think this is an. I honestly think this is an easy win. Fortunate. So I'm gonna have to let the. Oh shit, that's not good. Okay. But it's not the worst. Yeah, I can get. Actually, we put it everything here. And we could do this. So actually, this is good. I'm gonna slider. <laughs> Usually I don't slider versus bots, but this one I'm going to. Roll the three first. Four V two. I don't think I risk it. Okay, no set yet. Bot's gonna retake South America. It'll roll. Bot will roll a four V two. It does. It doesn't matter if it loses because it'll just roll off that four. It's good that it loses because it gets weaker, but. And it fortifies there. Perfect. Okay, to roll an eight. We don't really want to miss this roll, so I'm going to put a couple there just to break South America. 12v8? Okay, baby. I don't think that's 100%, but it's close. That's good. That's a great roll. This is not a hundred percent. Yeah, there's no issue here. We're gonna we're gonna beat this bot handily. And I'm actually gonna bring out the seven now from Australia because we no longer need need the guard. Let's put it right in the middle. And yeah, we have a set now. Yeah, bot's getting super weak. It can no longer overwhelm me. Okay. So it's... <clears throat> I don't need to set. So I'm going to put everything on here. We'll run the seven into South America. And just punch everything. I guess I should have rolled the 10v5. 7v5, don't need to roll that. And then we'll just go back to here. Did we hold Asia that turn? I don't think we did, right? No, we didn't. Because we didn't have this territory here. Okay. This bot's dead. We win. Okay. 
This bot is dead. Putting an 18 plus a trade, a big trade, I'm assuming. Sure, I'm not even now, I'm not even going to look at the plus twos. Uh, let's just take all this material out, call it a day. Bot will trade here, but that's fine. We don't really care. Okay, so it's going to take South America back. It looks like it might work on North America as well. We have a trade, no need to use it. So we're just gonna punch the bot. Bot doesn't have a trade. Yeah, we'll take this back, obviously. 4v2, let's do it for fun. Oh, I could have rolled this four here too. Okay, looking good. This is the best thing that could happen to me in this game. Yellow should have stayed in Australia. If I failed that kill, the yellow though, I get third. <laughs> I knew the numbers were there, but they weren't as tight as I thought. But I got it. I got the roll. Okay, so now 24, bot only a 17. Let's just trade to end it. And that's it, we win. Oh, woo! Ha <laughs> ha Amazing. That couldn't have gone any better. Now, you're asking me, why, why didn't you, why didn't, like, why didn't you hit pink they, when they were a real player? It's because I had an alliance with them. I had them as a beginner player and um, if I hit them there, they're just going to come and remove me from the game. I'll ruin their game. They'll probably ruin mine. So I need to work that angle where I have to be a really good ang uh, really good ally with them and work the angle of trying to get them to either overextend on other players or get other players to attack them. Turned out they got the, the reinforcement bug and they got locked out of the game and the game was about to turn into mayhem. And it kind of did. And I got the best of it because I, I got an opportunity. I will go against a bot one v one with you know with a with a with twenty percent of the bot's troops, you know, and most of the time still win. But that bot was aggressive. Anyway, uh, let's look at the ranks. I said pink beginner. I said purple beginner. I said yellow intermediate. I said blue intermediate. Uh, I upgraded blue from beginner to intermediate. Um, I said black expert intermediate. I'm gonna go with intermediate for black, not expert. So let's see how I did on guesses. Okay, uh, purple, I said beginner, I'm wrong. Purple is an expert. Okay, uh, yellow, I said intermediate, I was correct. Pink, I said beginner, I was correct. Blue, I said intermediate, they were actually, in fact, a beginner. I should have stayed with beginner. And um, black, I, I went with intermediate in the end, and I was, I was right. So really good guesses there. Not perfect, but good enough. What a game. All right, guys, if you like the video, please smash that like button for me. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already. And you and I get better at this game together. Follow me on Twitch. The link's down in the description. And until I see you next time, you keep fighting that good fight.